Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away, so for those of you looking for some healthy alternatives, we've got your answer. Our very own Ashley Portillo joins us now live from All Saints Episcopal Church. Jill, uh, Ashley, you guys have been cooking up some good stuff out there this morning. We are cooking some good stuff, and they're all healthy fall recipes. I actually heard it's National Donut Day today, but here we're, <laughs> we're sticking here. to healthy this morning. Nancy Roberts is going to be teaching us some of these healthy recipes. So um, we have acorn squash here and butternut squash. Butternut squash and yams. And the tricky thing about it is, is okay, so this is what it's going to look like when we're done. We're roasting the vegetables. But you think, okay, how do, these are, it's actually very hard. I've never caught one of those, so I don't even know where to begin. Well, let me stand back, we'll do this. I put my knife in here, and then you. She said stand back, by the way, because that's what happens. <laughs> we lost our butternut squash. <laughs> so it actually is a very dense material. So you want to roast it, leave the skins on. They're gonna end up looking like that. I'll retrieve the butternut squash. Do you always have to whack it like that to get it cut? You know what, if you're a big strong guy, probably not. <laughs> but for me, whacking it kind of like works well. For ladies Butter like us, you yes, would need yes, to, the, to whack it. For petite chefs, um, the butternut squash is not as intense as the acorn squash, but it is still kind of... It takes some muscle. Yeah, it does, it does. And so, <laughs> You know, the dilemma is you've got a tough or, you know, a dense squash and all the peelings, but once you roast it, it's like this lovely soft material. So I don't even take And it smells out. really good, by the way, too. Yeah, and look, if you do want to put, when you, before you roast everything, you do want to put some foil down because it does have kind of like a sticky consistency once it roasts. So just go ahead, take your seeds out. Maybe use a knife to, or actually a spoon works pretty good. So you're scooping the meat out once it's roasted. So that's why you don't have to worry about peeling it. So we're just scooping out the acorn squash. I'll do an example of the butternut squash. So again, you know what, let me do one with the seeds so you can see what you do. So scooping out the seeds, just dropping it on your foil. And so this is the meat, and you consider this a meal in and of itself? I would, not everybody would, but okay, let's just give it a try. So okay. We've got yams, acorn squash, butternut squash, and just add a little salt and pepper, and a little butter. <laughs> Everything's better with butter. And then this is some Penzi spices, they're awesome. Just give that a try. You said you'd never have this. Before. I have, and I'm going to give this a try um, right here shortly. But again, the next step, we are going to put all this ingredients into the soup. Right. We're going to take once we've taken the vegetables, roasted them, scoop all that out. We're going to do a soup and a pie. So we'll do a squash soup uh, that has a little bit of cayenne in it, makes it very savory, and then we're going to do a no sugar added pie. So. Taking all these things right here, we're going to do the squash and then a soup and a pie. All right, well, looking forward to it. Again, stick with us. We'll be cooking all morning, reporting live for Chris 6 News. Ashley Portillo, Emily, back to you.